Hi friends, welcome to Jennifer Parsley Wellness. Today I am going to talk about how quick and how easy it can be to eat healthy, whole food, plant-based or vegan, however you've come to know some of the way of eating that I absolutely wholeheartedly recommend to prevent and reverse disease, avoid, reduce, or eliminate medications. This way of eating is phenomenal, especially when combined with fasting. I um, recently posted some or will be, <laughs> I, I don't know where my schedule is at with videos, posting a quick little video about Dr. Mindy Pels and deeper information that I am learning about fasting and to help with menopause and women in particular fasting. Cool information, like ways of fasting that I hadn't been using mixing it up, doing a 36 hour fast, which I just completed and lost four and a half pounds in a 36 hour fast. And it's meant that fast is designed to kick start your fat burning. So I've been listening to Ms. Dr. Mindy a lot, and I've listened to a couple of her latest videos or latest podcast. She has an awesome YouTube channel. Um, just type in Dr. Mindy Pels on YouTube. You'll find her and her website is drmindypels.com. And here's how to spell it if you miss that. But I will put the links to her information down below, even though that's not exactly what this video is about today. So I've heard her talk just very recently about how when she went and presented to a bunch of teachers in the rural South, and that at the end of the talk, they were, and she was talking about good fats, bad fats, and her and I completely disagree on diet. I am fully plant-based and I can understand more protein, but then that's tofu, tempeh, um, you know, good vegetables can be great sources of protein. Her and I disagree on diet, but she's talking about good fats, bad fats, um, and maybe things like avocado oil or something like that. And so, and then there were two comments at the end of what she was doing. And one is, oh, Dr. Min, and she was really talking about clean eating, clean eating whole foods, which works with plant-based as well. Um, and they were like, well, Dr. Mindy, you know, I like all your information, your health information, but two things, you know, one is I'm a teacher and I'm getting up at, you know, four o'clock in the morning. And sometimes I'm there until four o'clock, you know, basically the, um, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time to cook healthy whole foods. And then the other one was, well, I can't afford to eat like this. I can't afford the avocado oil that costs, you know, $10 for a bottle versus, you know, $2 for canola oil or whatever it is, um, whatever food she was recommending, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend. <laughs> but what this video and the next video that I'm going to make is kind of debunking those arguments like that's oh I can't afford to eat healthy whole food plant-based I've heard this before too Dr. McDougall who I did all of my training with uh, on plant-based diet he debunks these myths all the time and I'll put some links to his articles um, about how, well, now this is, we don't even need that. That's going to get into the cost. He has a great cost analysis. This is about how quick and easy it's going to be. I'm going to share my, or how it can be, how quick and easy it can be. And I, here's another reason why I just don't buy that argument. Like cooking a whole food plant-based meal is going to take me too much time. I don't have that much time because I'm busy. I work, I take care of kids. I understand that. I get that. I, I worked a corporate job for almost 20 years and global corporate job where I was traveling all the time. And, um, and Simon and I still found time to cook at home and with a tiny bit of planning and like one big grocery shop, like we just did a big grocery shop yesterday. The previous grocery shop we did lasted us three weeks of meals, plant-based meals. And this one that I just did might last three weeks, two to three weeks is what we usually get. And we spend about a hundred to two hundred dollars per week. We'll get into that in the um cost video, which I'm gonna follow on the heels of this one. Um it saves money. Sometimes it's $75 a week for two people a week 
three meals, maybe if I'm fasting, two to three meals for each of us for a week. You know, multiply that out for a family, $150 for a week of groceries. Still, in almost 2024, um, when we've had tons of inflation and everything costs more, if you're really kind of pure about it, it's not that bad. Um, so one grocery shop. So yes, it does take a, a bit of planning and it does take one trip to the grocery store, but then everything's at home. So people who are arguing like a restaurant or drive through or takeaway or fast food is quicker. I totally disagree. Like even if wherever you work and you're the fast food place is next door to it. So you don't even have to travel, but traffic could be an issue. Um, but I've seen Chick-fil-A Chick lines <laughs> down South here, Bojangles. I've seen some of the lines for these places at that time when you're getting out of work. So you're sitting in that line waiting to order your food anywhere from, I have no idea, 10 minutes to 30 minutes to get the bag of fast food. Let's say worst case scenario here, fast food. Or maybe you're on an app and you're ordering and you got to go to the restaurant and pick it up. And then by the time you get home, and then I have no idea if you eat straight out of the bag. Or for me, every time we get takeout, we were getting some takeout during the uh, 2020-2021 era when you mainly had to get takeout from restaurants. And we did it to support our local restaurants to try to help keep them in business, the ones that had good plant-based options for us. And what I don't like about takeaway is the stuff is um, kind of cold by the time <laughs> we get it home and then I have to put it on a plate and I have to put it in the oven or if you microwave or whatever you do, or maybe you just eat it right out of the bag. But there is a certain amount of time involved in even going and getting it and driving through that line and placing the order and picking it up. And I don't maybe have to like go park somewhere else and wait. Um, let's say 20 to 30 minutes. Well, if you've got your groceries at home, you can throw together plant-based meals in 20 to 30 minutes. And I'm going to show you a ton of options and I'm going to show you options for um, doing the planning part as well. Okay, so let me share a little bit with y'all here. Here we go. Here's what I did today. I went to Google and I typed quick whole food plant-based meals. And I just started opening up tabs because there were so much helpful information here. So quick, and it's free. All these recipes, all the people kind of like, here, here's a whole summary. Here's 40, 25, 40 quick plant-based recipes, all free, all free resources. Um, and so let's start here. Forks over knives. Forks over knives is a great whole food plant-based resource. And this particular article is called 25 healthy vegan meals you can make in 20 minutes or less. I'm challenging you that this could come together faster than sitting in a drive through line and, um, and it'll be hot and fresh and ready to go. So just Dan Dan noodles, mango black bean tacos, quick chickpea bolognese, all nice things to serve your family and they'll be hot and ready in 20 minutes or less. And I'm going to put the links to every single one of these in the um, description of this video, if you want to give a try to some of these recipes that are out there. This was called 45 quick vegan meals in 20 minutes. And these were kind of by section. Um, and so there was a whole section of pasta that I had scrolled down and then got into like burgers, sandwiches, soups, but 45 recipes that can be whipped up in less than 20 minutes from this site, My Pure Plants, Quick Vegan Meals. I'll put the link down below. Fresh, beautiful plant food, 20 minutes or less. Forks over knives again. 41 easy plant-based recipes you'll make again and again. Oh, and a side effect 
of cooking this way at home versus the drive-through or takeaway. Um, a side effect is you're probably going to lose weight. You're probably going to prevent and reverse disease. Uh, avoid, reduce, or eliminate medications, which is all about what I teach in this way of eating with, especially combined with some fasting to supercharge it. So there's more ideas there. This article, uh, 100 plus whole food plant-based recipes. And so this gives you like, um, so you can see here all the different ones so that you can have lunch ideas, dinner ideas, jambalaya, stew, lentil soup, uh, muffins. So you can get into like snacks, desserts, breakfast. So um, anyways, this one has over a hundred. This is eating well. What was that website? Let me share it with you. Simple Veganista, simpleveganista.com. The link will be down below. These are, some of these are ones that I've never used, but I just was like, hey, let's see. Can I make dinner in 20 minutes or less? Can I make dinner in the time it takes to go pick something up? Of course you can. <laughs> eating well com. So this is a whole article about a month of plant-based dinners in 30 minutes. So each of these 30 minutes or less, and then they give you, I believe, 31 recipes. So you can make them big enough to where you cook once and then you have the leftovers for another meal. Maybe you live by yourself. You could cook a big pot of something like this. Looks like a quinoa chili. And you could have that for your lunches all week long. Or, um, you know, I definitely believe in cooking big batches to have leftovers, make it easier on yourself. And these are just ideas and may that maybe you pull in a plant healthy plant-based meal that takes 20 minutes to make like a couple nights a week. And then you're still doing some takeout and uh, drive through or whatever it is. And you start doing this a couple nights a week, and then you're getting those whole healthy plant-based meals. They're going to help reduce the fat load, the sodium load, the sugar load. We're living in a toxic food environment, y'all. I'm going to talk, talk a lot more about that in the new year 2024 videos. It's a toxic world out there. <laughs> I'll be talking about that in 2024 for sure. And so just protecting your health with these all these free resources that are available. All right, moving on. 31 easy plant-based recipes, love and lemons. I have cooked recipes from this website. Delicious, beautiful food on this website. And so then this blogger goes through, you know, 31 ideas for super easy, quick and easy. You do sometimes have to put up with a lot of these ad muck things going on. <laughs> But uh, it's worth it. It's free. They're giving you beautiful, healthy, free food ideas. And then look up above, 60 easy dinner ideas, 41 healthy lunches, 60 healthy meal prep. So you can, if you want to really get into it, you can do the meal prep, put them in all the little containers and cook everything you need for a week on one weekend day or something like that. All right, the garden grazer. This article is over 200 healthy vegan recipes, whole food, plant-based, oil-free. And this one I liked, um, you know, look, easy, easy, vegan, oil-free. <laughs> Just over 200 recipes here. And almost every one of these is like easy, <laughs> 20 minutes or less. All right. And then this last one kind of combines the two topics that I started this video with plant-based on a budget. This website is all about delicious, affordable, and easy plant-based recipes. And so we're going to get into how this way of eating is honestly cheaper than takeout. And I'll get into the nitty gritty of that in a, another video, like I promised. But these I love, it's by category, appetizer, breakfast, dessert, dinner, drinks, lunches, and you can just dive in plant-based on a budget, easy, small amounts of um, ingredients, and healthy plant-based foods. Okay, so 
I think I've gotten the point across that there are tons of free recipes and resources available. I'll put all the links down below. Then there is a little bit of planning involved. And I've all, I also use tools that make this easier on myself. So say you choose a couple, you're going to get started and you're like, yep, I'm going to make this and this, and I'm going to make double batches so I can have it for lunches. That's pretty easy. Choose two recipes and put the ingredients on a list, however you like to do, whether it's on your phone, on a app like Paprika. I have a whole video I'll link to about using a meal planning app called Paprika. That's what we do in our house. And I type it in on the laptop, the ingredients I need. It pops up on my phone when I'm at the grocery store. And it ju I just go through and click everything I need. There are other meal planning apps out there. This one I have and I have for the recipes. Getmealplans.com, which is by Lindsay Nixon, the happy herbivore. It's called Meal Mentor. And she... Um, this includes all of her own recipes. So I get a week's worth of recipes and then it's all in an app in your phone. So there's hundreds of recipes that I can search through or just do that week's meal plan. You choose the recipes you want, you click a button and then they go into a grocery list for you. What I do now, cause I have my pantry uh, so well stocked in our house is I just look through that grocery list we have most of the ingredients. I don't need to buy the spices or the pasta or the beans because I've been cooking them in bulk at home. That's like next level <laughs> for you. Just use her grocery list, go to the store, but make sure you're not, you know, if you have some of the things you can kind of cross them off the list before you go. And so she, this is, um, I can't remember, it's something like $2 a week, $2 and 50 cents a week. If you sign up for a year's worth, or you can try it seven day free trial. Does this type of app, do these types of recipes work for you? If you want to be, uh, have that grocery list made for you and healthy plant-based recipes available. Forks over knives, same thing. The forks meal planner, uh, recipes, meal plans, meal prep, support, um, you know, this ends up being $1.92 a week if you pay in full, or you could just try it for a month for $25, but then they're giving you a free, I can't remember, they're not saying here. I think they give you two weeks free. Uh, oh, 30 day money back guarantee. There you go. You get a month free if you want to try this meal planner. Same thing. You choose all the recipes you want or choose a couple, choose one to start with and they'll give you a grocery list and off you go. <laughs> all right, I hope these ideas were helpful to just break that myth that that Dr. Mindy's been talking about when she was talking it like, oh, I'm busy. I work so many hours. You know, I'm just challenging people like how much time does it take to go get the takeout, get at home, sit in a line, whatever. If you shopped once every two weeks and chose a few recipes or chose a whole week's worth of recipes, you got the groceries on hand, you get home and you choose recipes that are in that 20 minutes or less category. Because vegan recipes, even whole food plant-based recipes, some of them can get pretty fancy and complicated, but you don't need that. Start with the quick and easy ones and it's honestly faster to do it. Simon and I have done this. We've tried this. We go out to get takeout or we go out to a meal. It is faster and easier to throw it together at home. And then half of our meals, we have leftovers because I always aim to make enough to make four good sized portions. So half the time, I'm not, we're just heating something up. You can microwave. It could take you two minutes to get your dinner <laughs> ready. <laughs> So I'm not buying it on this argument that it's quicker to get takeout or even fast food. I'm not buying it. You can do this, people. I'm going to give you all the resources, put them down below, and then you start shifting to these types of meals and you're going to get healthier. You're going to lose weight. You might be able to reduce, get off medications and do some deep healing, which is what my love, my passion, the services I offer are all about deep healing 
because we are living in this toxic world that I'm going to talk, talk more about this year for sure. It's not easy. I understand. I understand people. It is not easy. We are surrounded with quick toxic, supposedly quick toxic options. But when you kind of cut through all of that and create the healthy options for you and your family, you start to feel better. You sleep better. You think clearer. Like you're like, oh yeah. And you can do it with quick and easy meals. Okay, friends. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this type of information, feel free to give a thumbs up, subscribe down below. If you're already cooking this way and have found other great resources, either for the meal planning or the quick meals, free, feel free to put those in the comments and share with other people. Or if you don't believe me and you're like, no, it doesn't, this doesn't work. I'm not going to do it. Feel free to put in the comments. I love all points of view. Okay, I hope this was helpful for everyone, and I will see you soon, friends.